Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your end of July reading. Now typically my readings are love readings, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Keep in mind that what you need to do is just take what resonates and leave the rest. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong, okay? This is for the end of July. Woo! Well, we got a we got a, a frisky cat over there, and you may be feeling a little frisky yourself. I'm not sure. Um, I'm I'm wondering if. Uh, you know, this could be feeling, I mean, the Empress in reverse can be selfish, she can be smothering, she can lack empathy, okay? So, just keep that in mind. Ooh, ah, <laughs> okay, so you may be feeling a little ugly. <laughs> That's funny that the cat did that. You may be, you may, you know, and we all go through that. So, you know, you may be feeling like uh, not happy over a situation towards the end of July. Um, definitely, I mean, upright, these are the most beautiful, kind, compassionate women in the upright. And reversed is the opposite. Okay. So these two are the pick of the litter in the upright. And the reversed, nobody dares to go near them, okay? So just keep that in mind, uh, you know. And you being an air sign, I mean, you may have a wall up and people might be intimidated by you at the end of this month, okay? So just keep that in mind. May, people may think that you're a little bit harsh. And, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Okay, but I'm not saying that I condone it or anything, but people um, may think, you know, you're being a little hasty, you're being a little harsh, you're being a little bit hard to deal with. So, you know, who cares what they think, right? Anyway, um, you guys are determined. You're determined to to do something or to keep your stance, okay? Whatever your, whatever your stance is, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to budge. You're not going to budge, whatever it is. Um, I feel as though you have quite a lot of confidence in whatever this stance is that you're holding on to. You, you have a, you've come a really long way, and it's like you're not going to give up. You're not going to give up on a situation. Here, another flyer. You're not going to give up on a situation. Um, although you could be dealing with somebody who wants you to give up, just saying. Somebody's... Maybe like trying to push your buttons. And if they are trying to push your buttons, it's definitely working. Okay. Um, let me get this zoomed in. So, you could be dealing with somebody that is very cunning, very crafty, crafty, very deceptive. Somebody that is trying to steal your power, steal your energy. And, you know, that's probably why you have your guard up. You're probably like, hell no. You probably know who this person is, whether it's somebody at work or somebody in your life. Could be, even be a child, but it could be whoever this person is. It's like you're dealing with somebody who... They may be jealous of you, okay? I'm not sure what this is. This could be somebody who wants to take control and you're not letting them. Just saying. I mean, I got somebody that wants to take control and, you know, they're trying to bring you down. And there could be some fights, okay? With the Empress and the Emperor reverse, it's like there's a fight for control, fight for power, fight for authority here. It's like who's, who's, nobody wants to, nobody wants to give in. And, you know, that's exactly what this is. Somebody, there's there's a lack of peace and harmony in a relationship. And it could be a husband and wife, could be boyfriend and girlfriend, could be father and mother, 
could be a mother and child, could be father and child, I don't know. There's definitely a power struggle going on, absolutely, positively. There's a power struggle going on where, you know, you're not letting your guard down. You're not letting your guard down, you're persevering, you're standing strong, and this other person is trying to do everything in their power to get you to budge, to bring you down. And you're like, uh, I don't think so. But, you know, ego is in the way. Ego is in the way from peace and harmony. So somebody has to make a compromise here. And, you know, if you don't make a compromise, it's going to bring conflicts into your life. So I'm just saying that if you don't put in an effort to, to bring balance, you know, to compromise, communicate, whatever it is, that, or let go of the need to control, it's going to continue to cause chaos, okay? It's going to be angry. There's going to be anger at the end of this month because you're dealing with somebody, could be somebody in authority, could, like I said, it could be a boss, could be a father, could be a husband, could be a boyfriend, could be a wife, you know, could, you know, a female, male, doesn't matter. It could be somebody that doesn't want to, to let you be in control, but you're like, no, I'm in, there's definitely power struggles. We're going to change the subject, but just keep that in mind. And this person that you're dealing with has tricks up their sleeves. So, and you probably have a couple tricks up yours with that Empress reversed. So it, it just looks like there could be some, some conflicts. Okay. Now your challenge, oh no, not your challenge. Your challenge is over here. I do this a lot. Your, your, how people see you is sacrificing yourself, engaging in this. You, people see that you're engaging. You don't, why? We don't need to engage in it. Let we, you know, let it go. You don't, you don't need to hold on to this. You don't need to be stubborn. And they see that you're being stubborn. <coughs> so this is stubbornness. Let go of the stubbornness. Somebody has to give. Somebody has to give. If you don't give, then it's going to cause problems. I'm just saying. Now, your challenge is that magician reverse. The other person that you're dealing with is a sneaky son of a gun, and you don't know everything that they're doing. They are a liar. They, you are dealing with a liar. Okay, somebody is very sneaky and cunning. And it's like the chariot reversed. This is lack of discipline, lack of willpower, loss of self. You're dealing with your challenge, or this could be you, that I think it's the other person, though. I think you're dealing with somebody who's down, and you know misery, misery likes company, and I think I mentioned this in my daily vibe. You're dealing with somebody who can't master their emotions, so they're trying to manipulate. That's what's happening. You're dealing with a manipulator. That's your challenge. Yikes. Yeah, you're dealing with a dishonest individual that does not want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody that treats other people unfairly to win. Oh my God. And it feels like you're wasting your time even, even playing this game. You need to turn your back. You need to realize what this game is. It's absolutely a game. Do not engage. Ugh. This person, I don't know if it's another if it's another air sign or could be a Gemini, could be a Libra, could because we have Gemini here, we have Libra here, and then we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Cancer. It doesn't matter. And then we have Ge Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Leo. We have Taurus. We have Libra. We have Scorpio. It doesn't really matter. We have Aries. It doesn't really matter what sign you're dealing with, but whoever it is on this side that that is your challenge is only trying to hurt you and they are doing whatever they possibly can they don't have your best interest at heart i think i mean i don't know who this is but this could i mean we have libra a few times libra 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 we have gemini libra libra so we have libra a lot we have gemini quite a bit too so i don't know I don't know if it's a if it's another air sign or what but i feel like whoever this person is they're bullying you. You're dealing with a bully. What advice? What advice do you have for Aquarius? Let go? This is, this is let go. 
you're involved in a one-sided situation. Somebody that wants to be in control. Somebody that is very standoffish. Well, your advice is to not engage. It, it really is. Don't give it any of your energy. Don't let it steal your energy. Don't let it make you weak. Don't succumb to it. Remain stable and solid and secure. This is about, this right here is some sort of, this is happiness, this is, this is, um, have fun. This is, this could also be a third party situation. Maybe you let your friends help you. This is advice. Maybe you, you ignore this son of a gun and you, and you go have fun with your friends. This is advice. Okay. Now the ten of the ten of pentacles can be this is this could be it like this could even be moving because this is abundance. This could be this is abundance of some sort with friends. So I think your advice is to not give this energy and go go lean on your friends. Get your stability and your security from your friends. Don't let them bring you down, okay? Because this person, it is working. Whatever this bully is doing, it's bringing you down. It's stealing your energy. It is not allowing you to, to feel good. It's not allowing you to... Uh, you know, it's not making you look good. It's not making you feel good. It's not allowing you any, well, growth, for lack of a better word. I mean, the Empress is birth. It's reverse. There's no newness coming out of this. It's, it's bringing you down, okay? It's like stealing your energy. It's, it's whoever this person is, they're really getting to you. It's affecting you. It's affecting you in a very big way, in a negative way, okay? It is. You're being called to let your friends help you ignore and go hang out with somebody else, whatever. Go do something else. Go have some fun. Maybe it's with your children or your friends or something, but you need to uh, not engage. Do your best to not engage. You're dealing with a bully, somebody who is trying to bring you down. You know, there could be a gathering that you attend. But I just have to throw this out there. This is, a, this is a celebration and this is a celebration. Some sort of recognition. Uh-oh. So, Aquarius, it appears that You will find content and happiness and peace if you lighten up, you go have some fun, you be confident, keep your head held high. This is confidence. This is nobility. With your nobility, you will be successful. You will be the victor in this situation, whatever it is. As long as you remain confident and poised, you will, you will be recognized. You will be recognized for your nobility, for lack of a better word. I feel like this content will come back. This too will pass. Whoever this person is, this is the end of July. This is like the next two weeks, okay? So there's, this is going to happen over the next two weeks. There's going to be somebody who tries to bring you down. Somebody that tries to bully you. They want to they wanna win on something. I don't know what it is. And you're not budging. You're not budging. And you're being called to turn your back on this person and just walk away. Your advice is to walk away. Lean on your friends. Don't engage. Don't let them bring you down. Go out and have some fun. Ignore. Ignore. 
you know, you go out, you and you and you start to see there's friends, there's two women, okay? There's and I don't know if you're a woman or a man and it doesn't really matter. It's a it's a friend. It's like, you know what, we're gonna go have fun. We're gonna go out and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna we're gonna smile, you know, the whole nine yards. We're just gonna go out and dance even, you know? So maybe you you just Don't engage. You go out and you have some fun, whether it's dating or you go out to a dance or you go to a party or something like that, and you get recognized. So I'm not sure if you're going to get recognized by somebody new or whatnot, but this Ace of Cups is, Ace of Cups reverse is a lack of love in this that you see where it's right here, and that's where I put it. You're dealing with a, a person, and it could be a male, I'm not sure, that isn't giving you the love that you want. And they don't, they're, they're bringing you down all at the same time. Okay, it's hurting you. They're hurting you. They're, probably, they're, they're trying to bring you down your self-worth and it's working. It is. Whoever you're dealing with is making you feel less than worthy. Upright, she knows her worth. And that's what happens when you deal with a person like this who bullies and puts people down. They start, you start to believe it. And that's kind of what I see here. Allow your friends to help you through this situation. Go out and have some fun. Maybe you'll get recognized by somebody else. I'm not saying to go cheat or anything, but or if you're single, maybe this is somebody that a father, a ex. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Everywhere, you see, you guys aren't all living under the same roof. And we've talked about this before. I don't know if I've said it with you. You don't live in the same soul. Everybody's situation is a little bit different. You need to have faith. You need to listen to your inner guide. You need to believe in yourself. Don't let this person, whoever it is, bring you down and make you lose your faith. Or you lose your respect, your self-respect, because this is respect. Okay? Don't, because that's what this person is doing. They're, it's almost like a... I hate to use the word, I really do. It's like a narcissistic behavior. But I, I've been saying it lately because it's a, it's a real issue. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't want you to be proud of who you are. They don't want you to see your worth. And you're being called to believe in yourself. Follow your own path. Listen to your intuition. There is an opportunity for happiness here. But there's a lack of appreciation over here. This is lack of appreciation. Lack of compromise. This person isn't going to compromise. I think it's somebody you're in a relationship with already. You know, do you remember what it feels like to love? Do you know what love is? Do you remember what love is? This is memories of love. What is love supposed to be like? Is love supposed to be controlling? Is love supposed to be angry? Is love supposed to be bullying? Is What is love? Somebody is staying in a situation perhaps just for the children or the child. But they're not being appreciated by the other person. And it's bringing you down. You're being brought down by somebody else. And you're being called to go out there and have fun and celebrate your life. Celebrate who you are. Don't engage. And you know, you're probably like, how can I celebrate when I'm being treated like this? Don't let another per You have the power. You have the power to not let somebody bring you down. You do. It's all in your head. And this is a mind game. It is absolutely a mind game. So if you're dealing with somebody, you're letting them bring you down. You're letting them. It's mind over matter. It's time to, for you to feel alive again. You're involved in a dead-end situation. Some of you don't want to hear it, but you are. And it's time to let it go. Stop holding on to it. The resisting change with this four of pentacles over here. It's time for you to stop resisting the change. It is. <clears throat> it's time for you to be happy again. <coughs> My advice is to let your friends help you.
It's like somebody has, has stripped you of energy, of confidence, of confidence. They have. Let your friends help you, seriously. Engage your friends during this time. You have a new opportunity waiting for you, Aquarius, you do. But this isn't gonna happen at the end of this month. The end of this month is you engaging your friends. Eventually, you will find two of cups. You will find the one that you that will love you if you when you stop focusing on this hurt, this loss, this disappointment, this grief that you're going through. When you stop focusing on that, you will find the two of cups. You will find another opportunity. But right now, somebody isn't doing the right thing. By staying in a situation that is unhealthy, you're blocking a new door, a new path from opening by staying in this situation, whatever it is. This person that you're dealing with, whoever it is, they may have a wandering eye and you know it, but you, you're you staying, I don't know, maybe it's for the children, maybe it's for the home with that ten of pentacles, that's probably what it is. The assets that you have gained, because that's abundance, that's a home. You know, that's that's something that is worth something. So I feel like one of the reasons you're staying probably is for the home or the assets or the children. But it's not fulfilling you emotionally in any way whatsoever. It's stealing your energy. It's stealing your confidence. It's not allowing you to, to grow in any way. It's like there's no growth in this situation. You have to find the strength. You have it's all a head game. Self-respect. Self-respect. How long are you going to concentrate on this and not realize that you don't that you have another opportunity waiting? How long are you going to let your own self-worth Dwindle. My advice is to let your friends help you. You are involved in a situation that is has no growth. That has no more growth. And you have in the future, not at the end of this month, but in the future, a new opportunity waiting for you. But you have to take action. You have to stand up for yourself. Let's get one of these. Aquarius. So the end of this month, my advice is to engage your friends. Don't engage with this bully. Start coming up with a plan. There's no plans being made right here. The Page of Pentacles has no plan. Why aren't you making a plan? Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Let's, let's rephrase this. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to you. To you. What is important to you, Aquarius? What is important to you? What do you deserve? This? on it. Whew! We started it out with control issues, this reading. Oh, son of a bitch. Let go of control issues. 
Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Stop fighting it. There is control issues. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Anyhow, this is the message I have for you for the end of July. Go out. Relax. Breathe. Engage your friends. And make a plan. Talk to you later.